See, sometimes I think that wear glasses, sunglasses. I actually, only wear them inside. I don't, I don't like wear them outside because I want the, I want the, I want the, um, you know, the sunlight to go into my eyes because that that creates melanin in your skin. I learned that a long time ago. I don't worry about it. I only wear them for this. I don't even wear. I should carry them around, but uh, I don't. But I used to, say, I used to say, sometimes I say, sunglasses inside, especially make you look famous. But look, fame, fame, this is the thing. Everybody's running after fame. I want to tell you a, a, another military story. This is an ADOS military story. This is not an ADOS military This is a regular military story. Okay. Um, on the spring one center. It, it, it has ramifications in ADOS, okay? You'll understand because I'll make the connection. Whether you agree with the connection or not is something else. Okay, okay, here we go. So we, uh, in, the, in the military, it's interesting because if they say they're going to do something, they're going to do it, all right? If they say you got to get up at, at, you know, at, at 6.30 the next morning, you're going to get up at 6.30 the next morning. No, if they say you're going to be marching at 6.30 the next morning, you're going to be marching at 6.30 the next morning. The military is very interesting, right? People make decisions, and everybody's got to follow the decisions. If the people up top is a, is a lunatic, <laughs> then you will be, uh, you'll be uh, absconced in some lunatic stuff. <laughs> you know what I'm getting to with the whole, you know, uh, Iran, da, 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 okay. Really long. Let me tell you something. There was a there was a directive that came out for us. I don't know why, but the whole directive had to, is, it was supposed to be explained. They had to explain it to the whole base. I'm talking about McGuire Air Force Base now, which is it's located in Jersey. Anyway, I was at McGuire Air Force Base. I was a medic. No, no, I won't get into that stuff. That's, that was my my duty station during the during the Vietnam era. I never went to Vietnam. Luckily, I'll get to that some other time. But for some reason, we had this assembly in this big, in this big place, and, and we were they were coming in shifts, and it was like everybody in the base had to hear whatever this thing was. It came. In fact, the person that was telling us was the was, was the the, vice, the the wing commander or the vice wing commander. He was a general, which is unusual. Anyway, anyway. So for some reason, they had to, they had this thing, and then there was some question and answer afterwards. Wait, I hope you all can see me. I don't know. Let's see if I put some. Some light on, some more light on. Okay, that is not. Uh, okay. So, in this assembly, they explained the directive, whatever the, the thing was, right? And then they answered questions. Now, I'm, I'm weird. I'm, I have communications in my blood, all right? I mean, whatever it takes, I can communicate. I get in these situations where sometimes I communicate really well. Well, I knew, even back then, this was like when I was 20 years old or something like that, to 21. That, um, I knew back then that especially when they asked for questions or whatever have you, usually the people are very shy putting their hand up. So I just put my hand right away and I knew I was going to get the first question. So I got the first question. So I don't know, I don't remember what the whole thing was. So just, I'm be nebulous about this whole thing. Don't worry about it. Not nebula, nebulous. Okay, not the, okay. Um, so, so I asked this question in response to whatever you're saying. And it was like a, it was a, it was like a rhetorical, it was like a, almost like an open-ended question. It was an honest question, it was something like that. Then I think they tried to answer something like that. Then what happens is it goes around a little while, and then I, something happened. I said, "Wait a second. And so I raised my hand again for some for some reason. They 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 call on me again because people don't have a lot. Of, see, in the military, people don't have a lot of questions. You don't ask a lot of questions. Okay, you just do your thing. And so I got to ask the question, but it was like it was almost like it was a it was a it was a logical follow up to my first question, which wasn't really answered. Okay, okay, so that goes to, that, that that question wasn't really answered. Uh, and people are sensing this stuff. Then, for some strange reason, I got to ask a third question, right? Which was really every and then everybody knew the jig was up. I can't explain the dynamic of the whole thing, but if you imagine a room full of full of military people, general on the stage. I'm sitting like three quarters of the way back or wherever I was, right? I get this third question, which really exposed the whole thing as like a total crazy, this is this is a stupid directive kind of thing, right? Well, it wasn't stupid, stupid. Well, it wasn't very well thought out. Let's put it that way. Now the rumblings, everybody's, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so the, the, that's that's my third question. That's it. So, when, so, so, so something happens, something happens. Then finally, so we're wrapping the head. One more, we have one more question. So I'm just, I was just messing around. So I just put my hand up, right? Because I did actually have a third point, but it wasn't a question, it was a to punctuate the whole thing. And so they, the, the guy saw me, whatever have you. So obviously, he wasn't going to pick on me, so he picked some other guy, right? The guy said, I defer my, 
I would like my question, my question, something like, I would like my question asked by him, that guy there, <laughs> that airman there, that airman there, I was a sergeant at the time, that sergeant there. And so I got up, no, I was a, yeah, I was a sergeant. So I got up and, and the last one, it wasn't a question, it was a rhetorical question, and the whole audience just cracked up. I slid out of there. Now, let me tell you this little caveat. See, medics, I was a medic. So medics were whites. We have white, our whites. And you, you, have, you have your greens, your fatigues, you have your greens, and that night they call BDUs, whatever. They, it was after me, they started to make this breaking up thing and be in the jungle thing. Well, they did it in Vietnam a little bit. Anyway, so you had your greens, you had your whites, and that, that, the blues, blah, blah, blah. Well, for some reason, for this thing, I wore my greens, you know, my fatigues, my regular fatigues. Man, I was just hoping they just didn't know who I was because I just slipped on out of there. Because he, it, it made this, this guy, it, it was, I don't think the guy took it personally because it was a ridiculous thing. You could tell just the way he was delivering the thing, he knew it was ridiculous. Every day, Barry knew it was a ridiculous thing. So that's my story. My story is this, how it pertains to AD was get out of here, fly, turn you, leave. Uh, here's how it pertains. You don't know when you will be called on to do what you need to do as an ADOS. As an American descendant of chattel slavery, you never know when you're going to be called on to do the bidding of the lineage, not only your individual lineage in, in ADOS, but the whole ADOS reality. ADOS reality actually started, ADOS reality started with that first lash, that first, you know, that one wasn't on, it wasn't a captain in Africa, it wasn't on the slave ship. ADOS started when we landed in the thing, and not only that, it's, it's like, it's not just you was a slave there, that was you were sold when you got that first lash. You said, well, I, I didn't get that. No, the lineage got the lash. That's what I'm trying to say. So we are all in this together, and whatever you need to do, and not everybody can talk, not everybody needs to jump on out, or who, 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 who's jumping on out, Stacey Abrams? Whoever we're jumping on out, not everybody needs to do it. Figure out what you can do, and then you do what you got to do, okay? That's a little message from me. T, from the Patterson's taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect from a desk of the ADOS. <laughs>